Welcome back to the Gaming Pantry everybody, this is the Retro Bear bidding you a very very warm welcome and it is warm in here, yes it's another late September afternoon where the sun is out, uh, well, it was out earlier, it appears to be chucking it down with rain now but anyway, uh, and uh, welcome you to another pickups video and a general bit of a chat, because we like to have a little bit of a chat every now and again don't we, shall we just talk about what's on in the background first of all, because I like to get that out of the way, uh, this is my copy of Need for Speed Underground on the Xbox, without the manual, oh dear. I may have a, I'm, I'm sure I've got another copy of this somewhere with a manual in it, I don't know, anyway, there's the back of the box, um, and again it's just a game that I can reach off the shelf at the moment because everything else is in the way, and they've all fallen off, where you've fallen off there, stand up, anyway there we go, uh, shot the back of my head there again, my thinning hairline, it's getting really bad that, that at the moment, I'm getting very conscious about people's in the back of my head, I'm going to have to go around wearing a hat now, I think that's what it is, or perhaps some sort of hairpiece, I, I really don't know, um, I thought my biggest problem in life would be just for men. No, it's going to be wigs for men. But anyway. Yes, so welcome back. Um, hope you enjoyed the Birmingham Game Market video. Hope you've enjoyed the cartoon collection videos as well. It's always nice to do those. Nice to see some people watch those, which is good. So I try and do something a little bit different on, on, on here. Just to sort of break it up a little bit. Because it's all games and stuff. Then people don't realise what else you're into. But as a lot of people know us gamers don't just do gaming do we I mean if I was what did it list my five five favourite things to nerd um, yeah games films TV wrestling music sport that's six yeah that, that's, that's my, my sort of area anyway but yeah it's not just all about the game it's all about other stuff other things that we do we, we all we've got interest anyway um, right, so what's going on? Um, yeah, not a lot really. Uh, what have we got going about? So, yeah, we do my cartoon collection. I've, I've now done that. I filmed all those anyway, which means I can now concentrate back on the gaming. So we might see a return for some of that Commodore Corner and a bit more gameplay, which would be nice. Uh, ongoing projects, sorting out rooms and things. I'm not going to talk about. Okay, I'm not going to discuss that here. That's another conversation for another time. Uh, so yeah, just trying to get some different content up and, and try and put a bit of variance on there, which is which, which would be different to do. And I'm hoping to do that. Uh, for those who've been watching Desert Island games, thank you so much indeed for watching those. I know they are a lot to ask people to listen to, but the way people consume, careful for not on the floor, where people consume the that that particular uh, upload. Is because they get to work or they listen on the way to work or on the way back home from work or in the bath. Do people keep telling me to listen to my stuff in the bath? It's rather worrying. It used to be dishwasher every time. Oh, I've listened to, your, listened to your latest video when I entered the dishwasher. It, now people now tell me that they're listening to my various things in the bath. Which is always a bit worrying. Um, <laughs> and, you, know, you do, you do realise that there is a, a very, very good chance you could go under while you're in the bath listening to that. You do realise that, don't you? I can't be responsible. Oh, yeah, we found him in the bath. He was listening to Retro Bear again. Um, <laughs> so that's happening. So, but I'm, I'm so glad people have been enjoying listening to those. For those who are contacted back in July about restarting this and, and you haven't had a date for uh, recording, don't worry, because I've, I've now got through the first batch and I'm now hoping to try and do the second batch of recordings in the next few weeks which will then give me enough episodes to take me through until the end of the year. After that, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it. Um, I may take a break for a couple of months and bring it back. I'm not quite sure yet, but I've certainly got enough people who contacted me or I've been in contact with to get through until the end of the year, possibly into January as well. It's not just the retro quiz, which has got a long waiting list to get on. Although I don't know if many people contact me about coming on Desert Island Games, but there's a lot of people I've contacted about coming on. So I've probably got enough for the end of the year. So. If I've been trying to get hold of you or you haven't heard from me, don't worry, I will be trying to do so uh, and try and get those booked in. Uh, TMB Gaming Podcast, I mean, that's been brilliant. We've been doing live streams. That's been superb. Um, so many people tuning in on a Sunday night now, every other Sunday, but it's not the swapping programme. It's brilliant. Um, we've never been so uh, viewed on a, 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 at one time. We've had... I mean, I mean, when the podcast used to go out as a pre-recorded episode... We get a certain number of people in the live chat when we premiered it, and that was nice. Now we get a lot of people turn up to the live streams and in the chat as well, and it's brilliant. And we're having guests on as well. So if you'd like to be a guest on the TMB Gaming Podcast upcoming, we'd love to hear from you. 
we would love to hear from you you can get in contact with my email address which will be in the description below uh, we've got the next couple of episodes which I think is maybe the 26th of September the 10th of October will be sorted out um, after that we've got probably maybe got another five episodes before we get to Christmas so if you'd like to come on and be a guest let me know we'd love to have you aboard and we'll uh, rally the troops around and get it done uh, but that's that's a nice one today but yeah great to have everybody involved in that as best they can and, and live streams were really really enjoying those we didn't think we were going down that route but uh, it's great we have to still remember that people do listen to it as an audio broadcast they will download it so we've got to remember not to be so visual but yeah it's, it's great really really good to hear that, that people listen to that so got a podcast podcast desert island games like i said that's going to run on probably until the end of the year uh, and then into the early part of next year and just the usual stuff you have more gameplay i think would be nice more gameplay i've got probably got collection i could probably maybe start doing the playstation 2 collection and the xbox collection because those are the two big ones i've done yet that's another six months worth of videos right there uh, so what am i doing in this one very very quickly just got the quick pickups which i've managed to nab hold at the weekend which was the 18th of september so we went to the Birmingham game market the weekend before did very reasonably well there people will let me know by now about that i don't know how you let me know by now because uh, i'm recording this one straight after i've just recorded the birmingham market video so i won't know how well you think i did until after i've done that um so i just did my usuals on the 18th of september nothing of interest at all a couple of games i'm going to pick up uh, for those of you who watched my uh, donation from retro ram 88 liam a few weeks back he sent me some playstation 4 stuff and i mentioned uh, that he forgot to include a copy of uh, he sent me a copy of Fire Pro Wrestling on the PlayStation 4, but for some reason uh, there wasn't a disc in there. Well, Liam had left it in the machine. So this is just to say that he's actually sent me a copy of it now. So there is the disc of Fire Pro Wrestling, which you can see there. There we go. So uh, I've got the box and the instructions from the other previous one. So thank you very much for sending that to you, Liam. That was really good of you, mate. You are a wazzock. But uh, no, it's great. Incidentally, there are, uh, there are, I've got copies of games I, I know one of them is certainly destined for mr chicken which is a copy of thief um i'm not sure whether these guys are watching liam if you're watching i'm pretty sure i mentioned something but you wanted some ga gears of war games which you asked off swap shop when i was last on there like 12 months ago i can't remember um and also nerdy geezer as well i think there was a copy of stranglehold i've got these games here i'm beginning to think that you guys were after about waiting for them to be sent through so if you are still waiting for it let me know please um because I'm, 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 I've got a memory like a sieve at the moment. I really have. I hope that's not a sign of things to come. Anyway, um, let me know. If, if there's anybody who said I'm going to send them something, I am sent them something. T-shirts as well. I know I've got people to send T-shirts to. Um, anyway, nice, nice to see Goodwin's Place wearing his Retro Bear T-shirt in his latest repair video where he's done the, that's a Dreamcast for Geordie Slasher as well. Um, Oh yeah, community video as well. Probably got community video. Yeah, another community video before the end of the month. Uh, there's a couple of things coming up which I want to talk about in that as well. Some more shout outs as well. So look for that to drop probably next week. Yes, that's last week of the month. I always try and do it the last week of the month. So uh, look for that to drop down uh, week commencing the 27th of September, around about that time. Another Retro Bear community video. I'm not sure how many more I'm going to keep doing those, but I keep saying that every single month and I do another one, don't I? So anyway uh, so yeah so we got that liam sent me that through brilliant and then it's got the pickups as well which i managed to get from like i said cherry shops nothing at the moment and i say nothing in there there's just some of them i've either got games but uh, games which i've got uh, um or they haven't got any full stop it's like that so i'm trying if i if i can't find anything i can't find anything. it i'm not not getting pickups for the sake of getting pickups but i did manage to get a couple of wii games which is good um so the first one i managed to get hold of i didn't realize it was actually a second game of this and this is from 505 games as well which is brilliant so i didn't even know they they did this and this is big catch bass fishing 2. Now, i've got the first one so i've got both of these now but i haven't seen this before this was three quid out of cex and as you can see it's got the safety manual and it's got the instructions in there and it's got the disc as well so it's all in very very good condition get hooked all over again i hope you can use a fishing uh, attachment with this as well because i've got one of those but you know long-standing viewers remember i used to do a lot of fishing fishing games pick up a lot of fishing games i used to pick up horse games before they became popular as well so that was good that was three quid from cx and this one i also picked was one i thought well it's probably the right time to get this game now because a few weeks ago it was a tenner 
And then two weeks ago when I was last up there, it was six quid. Now it's dropped down to five. I thought, right, this is the time to get it. Because that's the fluctuation. I mean, some of the week, I mean, punch out on the week. 28 quid at the moment, the CX, I thought, 28 quid. I, I, I got it for six a couple of years ago. Six pounds, really. And that was, I thought that was an expensive. Six to eight pounds it used to be. I think it used to cruise a six to 12 pound category quite often. It's 28 pounds. It's more expensive than Mario Kart. Mario Kart's dropped a bit. I could just price it at the moment. It's all over the shop. It really is shocking, some of the stuff. Um, you just can't keep it. It's changing week to week. It really is. So the other game we've got, like I said, it's, it's dropped in 50, by 50% in a couple, couple, few months. So I thought, well, I'm not going to miss this one. And it's another 505 games, which is, I didn't even know that. Uh, and this is Daisy Fuentes Piles. Pilots, sorry. Um, it could say Pirates, Daisy Fuentes Pirates. Another fitness game for the Wii. Uh, tone, strengthen, transform your body. Yep, that'll be a distinct improvement, I'm pretty sure of it. Um, but yeah, so Daisy Fuentes Pilots. And into the collection. I did actually do a joke with, with Nath Retro 1 about this the other day, because he was he, he's pretty much picked up all the big hitters he wants the Wii now. And I said, but you haven't got Daisy Fuentes Pilots. And he said, I don't want that one. Uh, well, there you go, Nath. I have got it. There we go. I'm pretty sure looking at that picture of it, the last thing you'd be thinking of were the pilots. I don't know, maybe that's a nickname for them, I'm not entirely sure. So there we go, so just those two games, that was a fiver. So you can judge what you want. I've got a fishing game and a fitness game for eight quid. You can judge what you want on that one, I don't really care, because I am the retro bear. That is my gimmick. My gimmick is what I do in it. But more Wii, Wii games to the Wii wall, which is lovely. Keep getting them in there, which is uh, nice to see, but uh, yeah. So there we go, that's all there is on this one. That's a sh cheap old video. I have been playing a lot of Fall Guys lately. I shall add this on the very end. You may have seen um, I've been doing a few live streams with Big Game Out and Retro Game Revived and um, and Joe as well. Joe the Wolf. Uh, that's, yeah, that's because the costume she wears in Fall Guys. We call her Joe the Wolf as opposed to what Al called her. Um, <laughs> you'd have to see the stream to watch it without. Anyway, I wouldn't quite, because I, lo and behold, um, I now have a PlayStation Plus and uh, subscription for 12 months. So Mrs. Bear's been downloading me things like uh, Call of Duty Warfare. Is it what we downloaded? Oh, the new Predator game, Hunting Ground, which he was playing the other night as well. Strange game, that one. Um, but yeah, I've been playing Four Guys. We bought Four Guys, so I've been playing that. And honestly, it's been absolutely brilliant from playing that with Al and uh, Sean, uh, Kevin, uh, Kevin Wolford as well. One, two, three, Kevin Wolford, one, two, three. It was on our uh, podcast with Beth Bear a few couple of weeks ago. A shame that was technically... Shame, shame about best technical problems on that one, but we'll have them both on again at some point in the future. Um, but yeah, it was, it was, it was, it's been great fun to play that with Al. We've been a couple of hours at a time, and there's been a few of us, a few people in the chat, not many, but nice to let people come along and have a good laugh at us doing that. And we don't take it too seriously. I think, I think the commentary is more fun than the game sometimes. But look for those, because hopefully I'll, I'll try and set my PS4 up so I can do live streams off that as well. I haven't done that yet, we're just using Al's channel mostly. Uh, but yeah, if we do get a chance to pop along and see any live PS4 Four Guys streams on Big Game Al's channel or, or my channel, then uh, do have a do have a wandering, a good good fun, and a bit of a laugh. Really, you know, we're not special, we're not brilliant at it. We just have a bit of a laugh. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Really. Yeah, that's good. But I'm playing modern games. More, I've been pretty sure more modern games on this channel this year uh, than I have done in any years previously. And I keep looking at modern games. I'm going, I think, well, would I get that? Would I buy that? You know, I've got a Switch and a PS4. That's modern ish, isn't it? I suppose. I'm going, oh, should I buy that? Should I don't know. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not looking to spend a lot of money on those games. Put it that way. Um, I don't, you know, I'm going to spend thirty-two pounds on Castlevania on the N64. I'm not going to go around and sort of spend that amount of money on a PlayStation 4 game because Castlevania is probably going to spend most of his time sat on the shelf. So, yeah, I'm not going to spend thirty-two pounds on a PlayStation 4 game just to have it sit there looking at me when I'm watching something on the telly. Anyway, if you have enjoyed that for some bizarre reason, um, don't forget to please like, subscribe, comment, uh, tick the bell, share the video, do all those things that people do to help you, uh, YouTube with their algorithms. Uh, and it might show up some good friends of mine who are doing the same content as well. And it might show up some people who I don't even know about yet, which is even better. Uh, but thanks very much indeed for watching, it's, it's nice for you to do so. Uh, in the meantime, this is the Retro Bear from the Gaming Pantry saying uh, thank you for your time. We'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.